Hello and welcome to Mind and Money Show, where we talk all things mindset, money management and our entrepreneurial journey. Along the way, we're going to throw in some amazing guests for good measure. I'm Shane Highland. I'm Gareth Shears. This show is going to change your life and teach you skills that school never taught you. Boom. Okay, welcome back, and I hope you're having a good week. Today, we're talking about the top 10 ways to improve your credit score. But before we do, remember to hit the subscribe button for more exciting tips and tricks and hacks to help you with your finances. If you really do like this content and you want to hear more about it and you want some specific help, please make some comments in the comment box below about what you'd like to hear from us. So let's get into it. Credit score is a hugely important factor in life, especially when trying to buy a house. The better the score, the easier the process actually gets. The better the rates, and the more you can actually borrow. So here are the top 10 tips that Experian, one of the main credit score companies, suggest you to do to improve it. So number one, prove where you live. May seem simple, but register on the electoral roll at your current address. You can do this even if you're in shared accommodation or living at home with your parents. Number two, build your credit history. Having little or no credit history can make it difficult for companies to assess you, and your credit score may be lower as a result of this. Now, this is a common problem for young people and people who are new to the country. Number three, make regular payments on time. Paying your accounts on time and in full each month is a good way to show lenders you're a reliable borrower and capable of handling credit responsibly. So old, well-managed accounts will usually improve your score. Number four, keep your credit utilization low. Your credit utilization is the percentage you use for your credit limit. For example, if you have a credit card with a £2,000 limit and you use £1,000 of it, your credit utilization is 50%. Usually a lower percentage will be seen positively by lenders and will increase your credit score as a result. If possible, try to keep your credit utilization below 30%. Number five, see if you can get an instant score boost. By securely connecting your current account to your Experian account or other credit search accounts, you can show how well you manage your money. They look for examples of responsible financial behavior such as paying your Netflix, Spotify and council tax on time and paying into savings or investment accounts. Experian will then share a summary of your boosted data with participating lenders when you search for you to apply for credit. Number six, check for errors and report any mistakes on your report. Even small minute mistakes, such as a mistyped address, can affect your score and could be enough for a lender to refuse your credit. It's worth checking your credit report to make sure all the information on it is accurate and up to date. If you do spot a mistake, contact the provider directly and ask them to change it. If there is negative information that is correct, but occurred during a special circumstance, such as a period in hospital or losing your job, you can ask your credit provider to add a notice of correction to your credit report explaining this. Number seven, monitor your credit file for fraudulent activity. If fraudsters gain access to your personal details, they could take out credit in your name without you even knowing. If you see something on your credit report that is wrong, such as an application you don't recognise, report it. Number eight, avoid moving home a lot if you can. Now, this isn't always possible to avoid, but it's worth bearing in mind that lenders will see the stability in your circumstances. Moving home frequently may make lenders think you could be having trouble paying rent. Number nine, Keep all the accounts open and show a long credit history. It can be good to show lenders 
that you can successfully manage multiple credit, especially over a long period of time. Most credit scoring models tend to reward you for having long-standing mature credit accounts and for only using a small portion of your credit limit. And finally, number 10, consider getting a credit builder card. If you're looking to improve your credit rating, then a credit builder card can help rebuild your credit score. They typically have low spending limits and high interest rates. When you first get a credit card, it might briefly cause your score to drop. But if you use well, it can help build your score. Now, just starting to work on a few of these can hugely boost your score and the likelihood of actually getting credit. In future videos, we'll cover some other aspects of credit score and improving it. If you like what we do, please do like and subscribe and leave a comment below. If there's any particular topic you would like us to explore, please leave it in the comments below or contact us direct. Thanks for listening. And if you enjoyed this episode, then please subscribe and remember to follow us on social media for more content like this.